has uh, won the Magic Castle Award. I believe he's won it twice, as a matter of fact, as a close-up magician of the year. This is that specialty stuff. It isn't elephants. It's small, subtle, <laughs> and extremely mystifying, because I still don't know how he did it, and I saw him this afternoon. He's the author of David Roth's Expert Coin Magic, and you already know his name. David Roth. Welcome, David. David. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hello, David. How are you? I'm like fine, thanks. Magic? I love magic. Uh, I believe too. magic. So oh. do I. In fact, this oh, is going black to... Black magic. Uh, this is black magic. Excuse me, excuse me. This will be close-up magic. That's where it happens right before your very eyes. With my jacket off. Uh, uh, and the sleeves? Rolled up. Rolled up. That's <laughs> right. There goes that explanation. <laughs> Have a seat, please. Me? You? Oh, do I feel like I'm gonna be taken here for a big... No, no, no. Just a little coin magic that looks like magic. It's not dangerous, right? Oh, no, absolutely Do I need industrial dangerous. goggles or anything? Like no, the dangerous stuff comes later okay. on. Yeah, yeah. Well, these are coins. Take a quick look at those. May I touch them? Oh, please do. Those are half dollars. Fifty cent pieces. Fifty right? cent pieces. Kennedy on coins. the... President Kennedy. That's right. <laughs> solid looking coins. Very solid. They're not phony or anything. Solid looking table. Yeah. Good, I wouldn't good. put an elephant on it, but I know what you mean. <laughs> solid. It's a very nice a morning table. But you, you couldn't put a coin through it either. It's just, it, it won't work. It's just. No, you couldn't. It's too solid. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these four coins, put them right through the table, one at a time, by magic. This hand goes under the table. This hand stays on top. One coin, and only one, goes right through the table. And sure enough, solid through solid. Number one. <laughs> huh? Now, you're probably saying, my goodness, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I wonder if the guy would do it again. I'm glad you asked, Robert. I'd be more than happy to, sure enough. Remember, three coins have to go. This one has actually made the journey, which means it acts like a magnet. If I put it under the table, it will, in fact, if you find the right spot, sure enough, yeah, get the second one through the same way, and that's number two. I know what you're saying. You're saying, you know, that's the second greatest magic trick I've ever seen in my entire life. I wonder if the guy would do it again. I'm glad you asked. I'd be more than happy to, Robert. It's okay. Two. And two. 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 Two go under. Two coins left. The idea is the same. That time I did it with just one tap. Leaves just one. Three coins have gone right through the solid tape. Well, three coins to go. One is left. That's the hard one because you know what I'm going to do. You know I'm going to try to get that coin right through the table. Of course, if I did it with the others, I should be able to do it with the last one as well. Sure enough, that's four coins through a solid table. Okay. Of course, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, don't tell me those coins didn't actually go through the table. No, you're right. They simply went from one hand to the other without you seeing me do that. And to prove that, I'll do it above the table. Watch the coins. Watch the hands. Watch one coin jump from here to there. That's one. <laughs> now, that coin used to be over there, but it jumped to here. That leaves three coins. Watch the coins. Watch the hands. The second one goes the same <laughs> way. That's two. That's one across. Two. Two. They used to be here. They're jumping to here. Two coins are left. Watch the third coin. Pass. That's number three. Three coins. That's one, two. Three coins. They used to be here. Jumping to here. Watch the last one. You know what it's going to do, but it's already done. Hey, you and back! That's <laughs> With, with hands like that, you can't take my daughter out of uh, I know what you're thinking. You were thinking, well, I wasn't quite close enough. Could he do something even closer? Why not? I'll work with four coins this close. Watch. Number one, right there. Trust me. I'll tell you what you have to watch. Nothing happens to these. This one I hang in the air. It disappears. That leaves one, two, three coins. I'll do it again. Watch number two. Two is even harder, because you know what I'm going to do. You know I'm going to hang it. 
Of course, it doesn't always go the first time, but if it doesn't go the first time, invariably it goes the second, and that leaves two all by themselves. Looks like they're really disappearing. Third one's even harder, because you know I'm going to hang it right next to the others. It's gone. Of course, if you're really good, you can scoop up the three, toss them up. You can catch all four. I think he puts them up his nails. Uh, I used to use my nails. I've been practicing. In fact, now you're probably thinking, well, he wasn't just quite close enough, and too many coins is hard to follow. What if I were to stand right here, show you that there's nothing up my sleeves? Watch right there, because here's where it happens, right before your eyes. That's a coin. That's a half a dollar. That's a 50-cent piece. I'll do the same thing. Backwards, You rub on the back, make a little move, and it's gone. You grab it over there, and you put it over there, and it comes out over there. Of course, if I put it back there, it jumps across to there. Many people think that when I put it here, I keep it in this hand, but I don't. It doesn't go up my sleeves. It goes up your sleeve, and then for somebody like you, watch. I make it a little larger. Touch that. Tell your friends you touch the biggest coin in the sure, entire world. he trained the coin to do this. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. I think this guy could have ruled kingdoms during the Middle Ages. <laughs> People were extremely dumb then, and they wouldn't have done anything he asked. I don't know how you did it. Uh, I won't You tell. could make a fortune on 48th Street and Broadway. You've seen me. So if you have a lookout for the cops, you could probably clean up. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you. Uh, do you. What is this award that you uh, won? Is there a special division of comedy? Which is the well, the, uh, the Magic Castle in uh, Hollywood is a private club, and it's also the home of the Academy of Magical Arts, mm -hmm. which is a uh, yeah. an organization that I have. no, it it, uh, it endorses magic wherever it can, supports it, supports the Magic Castle, and once a year they have a large uh, award ceremony where they give out many awards, all in the uh, magic field: stage magicians, close-up magicians, lecturers, all types. You know, it'd be an easy gig for you yeah. working a football halftime show. You think? <laughs> People are so far away. You, know, you could even work sloppy. I mean, I'm right on top of you. He will now, now make four coins and one disappear. It was great. All right, we're going to have more magic and more of David Roth and our other two magicians after this commercial. Stay tuned. Yeah. Yeah.